This video is sponsored by Brilliant. More on that later, after I catch one of these terrifying arachnids. The rocky hill country of northern Louisiana is home to some of the most unique life forms in North American wilderness. Even though this landscape is blanketed in a lush green, terrifying arthropods. Most people associate with the arid deserts of the Southwest are thriving in the underworld of these hills. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and my search for the deadliest secrets of our natural world has led me to work with some truly frightening creatures. But I'll admit, I actually don't get to work with scorpions nearly enough. These ancient, venomous arachnids lurk under the rocks that line these hillsides, so I'm turning this place upside down in the hopes of getting hands-on with a bark scorpion. Oh, scorpion! Oh, it's a nice size one, too. Look at that. It's a turtle out from underneath. Oh, they look really cool in this area. Striped bark scorpion. Let's see if I can get her into cater. All right, all right, you're okay. No, 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 no. There you go, there you go, there you go. Excellent. Oh, look at that. This is a gorgeous striped bark scorpion. They have a really crazy color out here. Let's see if I can get them to hang out on a stick for me first. They can be a little bit uncooperative. I'm gonna start here. You're all right, buddy, you're all right. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. That is one creepy looking arachnid right there. As someone who used to be fairly afraid of spiders, I can tell you that scorpions scared me even more than spiders do. And I think part of it has to do with just their kind of mischievous appearance. They look like they're up to something. You know, some spiders will just kind of sit there and some of them are even kind of cute and will like actually look back at you and kind of be interactive. Scorpions are not the same case. They are secretive, kind of scheming, very, very flighty little arachnids. A lot of people think of them and they think of these deadly stinging creatures, but is the striped bark scorpion actually something we need to be worried about? And the answer is actually no. See, there's only one scorpion in the US and in North America that's at all dangerous to people. That's the Arizona bark scorpion. They're cousins, so I could see why you'd get them confused. But if you look at the patterning on this creature right here, it's got almost a bluish an orange striping down its whole body. And uh, that's not something you'll see with its much more dangerous, much more venomous cousin out in the Southwest. Here in the deep South, this is probably the worst scorpion you have to deal with. A lot of these Centroroides bark scorpions are notorious because they like to hide in crevices. They'll be hiding in between like pieces of cardboard in your closet. They'll find places to hide in like drawers underneath stuff. And usually you get stung because you're sticking your hand in those areas and these guys feel threatened and they lash out with that stinger. So what I think I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna gently coax the scorpion. He seems to be pretty, pretty calm. I'm actually gonna coax him onto my hand see that he will hang out. Before I handle the scorpion, I think it goes without saying that you probably shouldn't try this at home. I'm a biologist, I've been doing this for years, and when I'm working with some of nature's most dangerous creatures, reading behavior to keep interactions safe means watching for subtle patterns and clues in their movement to predict what they're gonna do next. But it takes practice to think like a scientist and actually decipher these clues. Luckily, there's a free and easy way to learn just that. Brilliant is the best way to learn math, science, and computer science interactively. I've been obsessed with their courses in scientific thinking because they show how the world is full of observable patterns and teach how to apply them in creative ways. Just like how they've helped me to learn how to keep myself and my team safe when handling venomous creatures in the wild. Working with these animals can be like solving puzzles, just like solving complex math problems. Whether you're a complete beginner or ready for some advanced topics, Brilliant will show you how to use creative problem solving to unlock the secrets of not just our natural world, but technology and math as well. If you're up for a challenge, try out their material on mathematics. Rather than sitting in a stuffy classroom, you can learn problem solving and numerical thinking and have a good time while you're at it. But don't take my word for it. Act like a scientist and test it out for yourself, completely free for a full 30 days at brilliant.org slash mywildbackyard or using the link in the description below. If you use my link, not only will you get 20% off Brilliant's annual subscription, but you'll be helping a brand that makes this channel possible. Try Brilliant today. It's pretty cool. 
Look at that. Nice and cloudy today, so that sun's not beating down on them, not overly stressed. Scorpions are extremely nocturnal creatures, coming out only under cover of darkness to hunt their prey. That's what that sting's actually for. In that tail right there, you see on the end of that tail, that barb. Very scary looking for us, but for him, it's a super useful tool. When he's hunting around under cover of darkness, he's using these front claws here. They can actually be used to grab prey, but they can also be used to sense. These are sensory organs. That scorpion doesn't have very good vision. In fact, the only thing he's really seeing right now is probably a big light blur. Their eyes are very, very simple, very, very primitive, and they're more just used from discerning light from dark. He can tell he's exposed right now, but because it's not like brilliant daylight, he's also not totally freaking out. Like, oh my gosh, I've been, I've been discovered, right? He's more just kind of like, ah, oh, ah, oh, who turned on the lights? He's probably a little bit stunned. And for an interaction like this, that's kind of useful because that means he's going to be chill and I'm not in any danger of being stung. And he is not going to like drop off and scurry somewhere and escape. So that I can't film this video. Uh, that would also be very annoying. Just look at that incredible creature. Look at the bizarre anatomy of the scorpion. You know, a lot of times we run in fear when we see these creatures. We don't get a chance to actually take a look just how weird they really look. Like all arachnids, they actually do have eight legs. I know as a kid, I used to think that those claws in the front were at one of the pairs of legs, so surely they had to have six regular legs, right? But nope, these claws in front are actually called pedipalps. On spiders, they look like an extra pair of tiny legs in the front, but for scorpions, they've actually become these chelipeds in the scientific world, claw legs, and they're used for grabbing their prey, kind of like a crab would. And there's actually kind of a somewhat useful way to determine whether or not a scorpion is dangerous here in the US. Look at those claws. The skinnier, smaller claws they have, the better chance they're actually using their venom to subdue their prey and not brute strength. Something like the desert hairy scorpion, huge, beefy, strong scorpion and they have these big crushing tearing claws which are me using to just basically rip apart small invertebrates these bark scorpions have thinner claws which means they're gonna have some pretty powerful venom packed in there now with centroroides they're primarily neurotoxic their venoms be attacking the central nervous system of their prey and any unfortunate predators that are bold enough to actually piss these animals off now what they're actually hunting in these crevices and stuff are little insects like most arachnids Scorpions are predators, and they're ambush hunters. Once they sense prey with those claws, that stinger gets ready. They're lightning fast and super accurate, and they can just whoosh, stab that prey, inject it full of venom, and even a small dose for a small insect will immobilize it completely, ending the insect's life and allowing this guy to have a meal. What's really interesting about scorpions is they're actually one of the more successful arachnids here on Earth. It seems to me that venom is actually a really effective tool if your primary food is insects. All of the arachnids that we see that are primarily insect hunters and have conquered good chunks of the globe are also venomous. For the vast majority of bark scorpions here in the US, that sting is gonna be like a really intense wasp. It's gonna hurt, you're gonna know you've been stung, and it is just not gonna be a pleasant time. But it's the Arizona bark scorpion where you gotta be really careful because that can go systemic and because of the potency of that neurotoxin, it could really mess you up, but they don't look anything like this. They're kind of a dull yellow. And as their name suggests, they're really only found in the deserts of the Southwest. Here in Louisiana, in places like this, like Texas Hill Country, Oklahoma, even parts of Florida, you'll run across these guys and close cousins of theirs all the time. Stings do happen, but you are in absolutely no danger if you come across these creepy little scorpions. What might be one of the biggest misconceptions about scorpions is that if they glow in the dark, they're dangerous. It is true that the venomous Arizona bark scorpions fluoresce in UV light, but pretty much all scorpions fluoresce too. No one is quite sure why they do this, but get this. Scorpions aren't the only weird nocturnal creatures that have this ability. Turns out, there are some funky looking millipedes that glow under a black light as well, and they're hiding some toxic secrets of their own. If you want to learn more about these unusual arthropods, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.